Shana Tova, everybody. <laughs> you are, of course, uh, now with TYT Sports, and we're talking about the most Jewish player of all, uh, Terrell Pryor. So uh, Terrell Pryor was a two-sport athlete in Pennsylvania. He is now starting for the Oakland Raiders. Did he get the job, Ben, because Matt Flynn was injured or because Matt Flynn is bad at football? No, I don't think so. I think he got the job because the Raiders are horrible. And they're not just a regular horrible. They're depressing. Like, they have a fan base that thinks that it's just like, that is without any energy whatsoever. And the no, coaches, they, they bring energy. No, Their but fans I mean, bring but, energy. No, no, I got it, but not, yeah. that's, I mean, yeah, they'll show up for the yeah. games, but I mean, they're depressed. They are looking at a two and 14 season and they can't protect the quarterback in any way. Uh, that's one reason why Matt Flynn looked so bad in the preseason was a total inability to get off a throw. Yeah. The receivers aren't good. And thus he hurt his shoulder. Right, yep. so Terrell Pryor is starting because I think the coaches sensed what the fans sensed, which was this is going nowhere and we have a chance that this guy might be a dynamic player. Let's find out. But because, are they just, yeah, go ahead. Because you need to know if they give him this season, because odds are he's not a dynamic player. He's probably not an accurate well, enough we'll passer. See. We'll see. But if they wait and think, well, let's hold on and, you know, we don't want to throw him behind this uh, beat up offensive line and get him hurt, then next year they got to take a quarterback when they finish 2 and 14 and get the first or second pick. Mm -hmm. uh, if Pryor turns out to be a dynamic player and a guy who can play quarterback for him, then they can take Clowney. And, and start to rebuild and make a good team. So I think they critically sort of have to play prior, find out if he's a player. So is it this mentality that it's just like, eh, we got nothing to lose, it's going to be a shit year? I mean, the over-under, by the way, is five. I would definitely take the under. It's hard, you know, it's the NFL. You beat teams. They get to play the Chargers twice. We don't know how bad the Chargers are going to be. Yeah, you, know? you, you said when we were uh, waiting for the elevator yesterday. Oh, look, the Chargers. That, that's our thing. We do that together. The Chargers and, have, uh, yes. Yeah, you said that they're not going to be as bad. No, I didn't as, say they're not going to be bad. I'm saying the Chargers. Not as bad as we think they're going to be. I didn't say the Chargers aren't going to be bad. I don't know what the Chargers are going to do, but the Chargers have had the cloud lifted. The Chargers aren't going to lose games because they had an extra point slip through their hands. The Chargers aren't going to aren't going to have second and one at the six yard line down four points with a minute to play and go 35 yards backwards. <laughs> like that's not crazy things that yank defeat from the jaws of victory. Or give up 23 yards on a fourth and 22. That's right. They're not. Yeah. If it's fourth and 22, you know what they're going to do? They're going to get the ball. Yeah. You know. <laughs> um, so you know that, that's you know they're not going to miss tackles all over the field that make it look like a pop Warner game. So you think Terrell Pryor can beat you know a, an over under of five wins? I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't bet the Raiders in any way. I certainly wouldn't bet over five, but betting under five is, you know, it's tough to do in the NFL. I mean, 5-11 and 11 is a bad right year. No. Why not? Uh, because I don't know about the Raiders. Because you don't want to root for the Raiders. That's why. I, You're I'll supporting root. them already. I mean, I'm look like, at this. I'll root for, uh, first of all, because of my Oakland A's affiliation, I never hate the Raiders. Um, I didn't like Al Davis. I don't have that issue anymore. Um, <laughs> but I don't like to root for bad things to happen in the city of Oakland. So I, I, I don't, and, I, and because as Rush Limbaugh said, Terrell Pryor is a black quarterback, so I will want him to succeed. The white liberal <laughs> media wants black quarterbacks to succeed. No, I want young kids to succeed. Terrell Pryor has a bad reputation that is sort of unearned. You know, he didn't really do anything. He did dumb kid things. He got tattoos. He, he got tattoos. Yeah, it's, not, yeah. it's not dumb. I mean, I, you know, so I, I would like Terrell Pryor to succeed. It would be good. This is an, we're seeing this era of a new kind of quarterback. Maybe he is yeah. one. His passer rating in the preseason was 59.5. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. So we got to wait and see. But we know what he can do is when they, when that sieve offensive line lets guys in, he can run around. Exactly. So yeah. we'll see. So out of anything, it's good strategy. All right, really quickly, and then we'll close up on this clip. Who's going to have the better week one? E.J. Manuel, who plays the Patriots. He's at home. Uh, I believe, yeah, Terrell Pryor is the only one on the road. He plays at Indianapolis. And Geno Smith plays against Tampa Bay at home at MetLife. I would say it goes... Who's Manuel playing? New England. Yeah, I'd say it goes. At New England. I'd say it goes Manuel Pryor, who I bet makes some fun plays, uh, and I think Geno Smith is the. Is it because I think Geno Smith is the disaster of the week, but is, it could be Pryor. Is it because Terrell Pryor, with him, we just don't have, we don't have this thought of that he can be really good, and again, it's just a nothing to lose mentality, so he's there to surprise us. I don't think it's. I, I think nothing to lose suggests that there's no thought behind it and I think the thought behind no, it. No, there's a thought behind it. The thought is we have nothing to lose. <laughs> but the thought, but that's a, that, that is a non-thought. That's a, what the hell, we're, we're, the, we're surrounded. Let's just run for the, we're just trying to well, break through I think through they're putting it off till next year, till they could draft Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah, but. Out of Louisville. Right, but then if that's the case, then 
you, you, what you need to do is see if you, what would be great is they didn't have to draft him and they could draft a- Clowney. Or they could draft Clowney or yeah. an offensive lineman or trade the pick and get three offensive linemen. And if it turned out Pryor was the quarterback, they don't have to take Bridgewater.